Hello students, Eric Magidson here. Finally, I get to say welcome to CIS 279 SC server configuration. I think we've got everything worked out. So this is gonna be a general welcome video, meaning that I'm gonna use it for multiple terms. So make sure you're checking due dates. This video may have differing due dates, different CRNs, different terms, different year as what you experience here. So this will be an example and uh, is used as the welcome video for spring of 22. Now again, yours may vary. So results may vary, folks. So let's go ahead and go through this. First of all, my name is Eric Magidson. I will be the instructor for this online server course. A lot has changed in Microsoft. I'll tell you more about that throughout the term, as well as where servers are hosted. Big push to put Windows servers in the cloud versus hosting them locally. And I'll give you some examples of that as well. So uh, we are gonna use the Ascend Education in lieu of test out. Um, I happen to really like the content that they're providing. And of course, as a technology instructor, it's hard for us to create content when it's changing every 12 to 18 months. So that's one of the reasons why you tend to get some third-party content during your educational career. Anyway, each week you will receive a welcome to the week video. This is week one, so it's welcome to the course. And it will have a link to a welcome video that discusses what you're gonna do that week, where to find it, when it's due, etc. cetera. Um, this week you, you see that you have a couple of attendance requirements. You have one that you need to do by Wednesday at noon and another one by Friday at noon. This one will open up after this one closes. So this one will open up at 12.01 p.m. <laughs> this week you have lab deploying Windows Server you're gonna do, I'll take out that parenthesis. Quiz one, quiz two, another lab, and quiz three. So I have gone through, I've looked at how much content is there, and basically I'm trying to make sure that you cover the same amount of content each week with a lighter 10th week so that you could study for a pending certification if you wanted to take it or begin to study for the final. So again, you'll get one of these. Primarily, you will spend your time in modules. Let me quickly talk about the Zoom link. The Zoom link is for my Zoom office hours. So as an online student, most online students want to communicate with me either via Zoom or via Teams. So I highly recommend, and you can see right here, where is it, SC? You can see that we have a Teams course set up for communication. I'll add more here. We will use this for some participation exercises that you'll see, et cetera. Why use Teams? Because you're gonna be required to use Teams, manage Teams, work with Teams, or work with Slack in your real live career once you graduate. So I want to get you all using that. Plus folks, the best way to get a hold of me is via Teams. I have it on my phone. If I have a minute or two between things, I will answer team, Teams chats much faster. And most of you have experienced that already than emails. But you can chat with me, you can email, you can click on this link, see if I'm online. If I am working at the desk, I tend to have my Zoom office on unless I'm grading or creating video content. So I have it on more than my office hours. Let's quickly go through the getting started. This is just a list of stuff that you're going to do and look through. Here is the course syllabus. Uh, you can click on this link right here to download your own copy. I'm going to... Uh, Look at the course syllabus for quality control starting Tuesday. Since I've changed content, we've changed Canvas, we've changed uh, to Ascend Education over Test Out. This is a link to the course schedule that I'll bring up. If you notice, I've done a few weeks. I still haven't finalized point values as of yet, but you can see what you're covering here. Now notice it looks like there's less work here but there are actually more videos, more uh, content that you'll be covering in this module. So you'll look here, you'll see what module and what is graded here. So this might be something that you wanna download 
and keep close so that you have it, okay? And I will complete this throughout the weeks moving forward. Instructor information, if you're gonna email me, please include CIS279SC exactly as shown in the subject line of emails. That makes sure it doesn't get lost in my spam-filled general inbox. Please get redirected to a class folder uh, in email that I look at. I normally check email a couple times a day, uh, mid-morning and later in the afternoon, just so you know. Uh, some of you get responses from me on weekends, etc. My primary working, especially this term with some medical challenges I have, are Monday through Friday. So if you do get responses from me on Saturday and Sunday, um, just know that that's not something I'm committing to. My apologies. Um, I have to take care of some things over this term in the way of some treatments. So with that said, that's it. Office hours. By appointment on Monday, regular office hours. This says 10 to 11. It should say uh, 10 a.m. to 11.30. I will change that. Office hours will guaranteed office hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 a.m. to 11.30. You can see then at 12.45, I start teaching a remote course. And office hours Tuesday evenings are by appointment. If I happen to be home, I'm just going to throw it on. Uh, you know, whatever I'm doing, I'll have it on. But to make sure that you can get in touch with me Tuesday evenings from 5.30 to 7 p.m., please go ahead, send me an email request or we can chat and jump on it that way, all right? Moving forward, installing and logging into Microsoft Teams. You should have gotten an invite to join CIS 279 SC uh, with this CRN. Everything is good there. Moving on, attendance requirement one, it's gonna be sending me email, CIS 279 SC VPN and server password. I do plan on having us build and manage and do some tasks outside of the Ascend Education within our data center, okay? So we'll virtualize some servers. You'll build a server there. Uh, probably going to work in teams of two, maybe three, um, because that way one person can build a domain controller, then another person can build a domain controller. If there's three people on a team, shh, build a third domain controller. So we'll talk about that because that'll give you an idea of how you might do this within a cloud environment, okay? Pretty important to understand cloud and to understand virtualization. So send that to me. That's going to be the first attendance requirement. The second attendance requirement will come on Wednesday. That'll be listed here. Little bit of content. I'm back in modules, by the way. Little bit of student content for text aid readers, stuff like that. You probably are familiar with the Microsoft uh, navigation tool, the reader tool there. Uh, this is what a normal week looks like. I know this looks like a lot of work. I I uh, have gone through about half of it. It's really not as much work as it looks like. I am actually going to do this coursework each week, uh, trying to stay a week or two ahead so I can make sure how much coursework is there, any challenges. I have not been through this course and I don't like teaching a course where I haven't been through all the content. So it's a good opportunity for me to update. Yes, Server 2021 is out. This content is on 2019. Again, not even these third-party companies can stay current uh, with servers when they're coming out in 2019 and two years later, we, or, well, it was two years when 2022 came out, um, that we have content. We have new content. So anyway, enough about that. As you can see here, I've got um, all the Ascend Education stuff links. So if you notice when you click on one of these, um, you will see the green check mark come up when you've completed it. You will see this a little bit differently than I do because I'm seeing the, the, um, the navigation because I'm in the structure, but you'll see the content. It is all built right into Canvas, which I understand from students last term was much better than having to go in and out, in and out, okay? Now, if you're in my test, my network course, that's not the same as test out. There's so many things out there and so much work to bring in each and every one. Right now, it's just not worth it. Ascend makes it much easier. So you will get in here 
Um, in the circuit calendar, I don't have information on Ascend. Most of you are probably familiar. I will move some information on how to get Ascend. Basically, once you click on here, if you've got the code, you'll be able to, it'll say you haven't authenticated. You'll actually create an account and authenticate a license key or be able to do a purchase through the product activation right there, okay? So make sure you look at that. Again, here is all the content. Now the question I have is things that are worth points. What I plan to do is like behind quiz one, I will put in parentheses graded activity. So you know what activities you are being graded on. So if for some reason uh, you don't have time to complete all the work in a week, you know you can at least go in and attempt some of the graded things to earn points for that week. My question to you is, would you rather have all these graded activities down below in a graded activity or in line where they appear in the structure, okay? I happen to think in line where they appear, that way you go step, step, step. Okay, I'm done for the evening. I come back. I see I completed those three. This is the next thing I need to do. This is a point value thing, and off you go, okay? So, uh, as most of you know, once I start filling in due dates, you'll be able to go to the calendar. You'll be able to pull up a calendar feed. Um, I'll just give you the CIS 120 example since I have a couple things in there already. But you'll be able to, you know, grab 279 SC, where is it? There it is, right there. And you'll be able to see, well, there's some attendance requirements right there. I still have 120 turned on. Anyway, there's attendance requirements. Why is there two? That is strange. I'll have to look at that because that's not the case. Oh, Canvas. Anyway, so that's what's going on in this course. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please reach out if you have questions. Like I said, I'm going to stay a week ahead on the content. My concern is I don't want to give you too much work. You know, about eight to ten hours a week of work that you would do. That's pretty standard for a four credit course. 12 hours is what the college says you should spend. So I like to keep it at eight to 12, something manageable, something that you could do an hour an evening if you want. Let me know challenges that you find. Please communicate with me. I'll probably create a team, uh, a team sub channel for like Ascend challenges, Canvas challenges, et cetera. Reach out there or uh, chat me up so that we can keep you productive in the course, all right? So that's about it for now. More to follow, more weeks to be populated in case you want to work ahead. Again, if I find that we have more time, we are definitely going to try to do some exercises, some hands-on things outside where I just say, go build a domain controller. I'll give you a quick example video of what that looks like and get you to do that. I hope you have a great term. I look forward to uh, sharing my, my knowledge as well on Windows Server with you. Take care.